let me first of all apologize for, you know, how long it took to get here and everything. Today, earlier, I was giving out uh, the Golden Horseshoe to all the recipients of that in, in West Virginia, and it, uh, it took a little longer than we thought and everything, but, uh, but those kids, there was 223 of them, and I'm really proud of them, and really, really proud of what we're doing right here. You see, uh, I go way back to our secretary of our DEP. And Austin and I have been friends for life and we've known each other forever. We grew up together and I see lots and lots of good friends here. And the thing that really impresses me the most is just this, is, you know, I go all over the state and do all kinds of different things. And over and over and over, I, I'm at a place that took 23 years, 29 years, 25 years, and finally it's becoming a reality. You know, also, I love the outdoors. You know, I love our state. I love our mountains. I love our waters. I've crawled around in about every trout stream in this state and crawled on my belly with a five-foot fly rod on a little teeny native trout stream, and I know the beauty and the thrill of catching a five-inch native brook trout. And it seems like it's a tarpon, you know, but, but, but what, what you're doing here is bringing life back to West Virginia. 23 years, it's a long time, isn't it? You know, and just think about this, we know, we know we've got a real problem with acid mine drainage, we've, we've always known that, and we combat it with good sense and good people all the time. But the other thing I congratulate you on more than anything here is, you know, in the private sector, a lot of times, the private sector thinks they're getting beat on all the time, and the private sector really may, may even think they've got it figured out, but the public sector won't listen. And the public sector, on the other hand, looks at things and says, you know, those people don't have any idea what to do. We know all the things, and we know what to do. And so the ability for us to work together becomes really distant a lot of times. And what you've done here is you've just done just exactly the opposite. You've worked together, public and private, in a partnership, and you've done greatness. And that's how it ought to be all the time. You know, at the end of the day, really and truly, we all should be going in one direction. And we should all be pulling the rope instead of trying to push the rope. So I can't absolutely, I can't possibly commend you enough. I absolutely love Mike's enthusiasm. I congratulate you in every way. Mr. Bill Way, I congratulate Southwestern Energy and what all they've done. I congratulate our DEP. I am, I am not, I am not astounded that the work we've done in-house, the knowledge that we have, I'm not astounded with that because I know how good you really are. You know, what I'm pleased about is just this. You're bringing another portion of West Virginia back to life and you're employing you know, technology and knowledge that nobody's ever done. There's one thing, I don't have any notes, all that kind of stuff. You know, I don't, I don't speak from notes, I try to speak from my heart. But this is amazing. The first, this is the first watershed-based national pollutant discharge elimination system permit ever issued in the United States. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So from the standpoint of the governor, from the standpoint of the state of West Virginia, from the standpoint of our nation, you know, I couldn't be more proud. I won't take up any more of your time. I'll just go over and test that chair some more. <laughs> but it's going to hold up. <laughs> Now, to tell you the truth, I'm going to take my little stool. I don't trust that little chair. And, and I saw Bill Rainey when I sit down in that chair thinking, 
holy you know what. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm going to turn it over, I think. To one. Anyone looking here before you cut it with a uh, smile for video? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Woo!